frustrated with yesterday's game, to be honest. The physicality started essentially from the puck drop. I mean, whenever you get on the ice, you, you want to win, and you're going to try and win at sort of all costs. You know, we don't have the drop the gloves fighting, but we have um, sort of the boil over, spill over moments that happen in front of the net after the whistle's been blown. You know, if someone kind of hurts you the wrong way, you're going to finish your hit. So we're playing the New York Riveters today, and it's going to be a blood battle. We dropped two games to them that we shouldn't have, so I think everyone has that in the back of their mind that we really need to come out full guns firing as soon as the puck drops. I left the CWHL and jumped into the NWHL just because I saw that the NWHL had a vision. It's scary though because everyone's, you know, we, you just have to trust this thing that's going to work and take off. It's challenging, especially when something's so new, but it's also exciting at the same time. We're all in the same boat together, so it's an interesting dynamic that we're balancing because we kind of all decided that if we're going to do the new league, it's not going to be one or two of us, it's going to be all of us. So. Um, when I say that, it's, you know, the U.S. team specifically. This league establishes an entirely new future for the game of women's hockey. It's a game changer, to be honest. When we dropped that first puck, it was a dream come true for everyone. So much hard work and we couldn't believe that it was actually being put into action. And has a gaping net in front. She shoots, and Hillary Knight scores! I'm sort of in a special category where I don't have to go get a second job, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Some people teach, some are coaches, coach like high school programs. Um, one of them is a college coach. So their commitment to this, I look at, is even more special than mine. And hopefully the salaries will grow for players so they can come from all over the country and all over the world and they don't have to supplement hockey with another job. Because I'm sort of the, the stand-in face right now for women's hockey in the U.S., I personally feel responsible and invested in this league that it has to succeed. I have a first paid professional league when I'm actually two feet in trying to help promote this league. And you're like, okay, like marketing's huge, you know. I think about those things. When I'm not like out there skating, I'm always like worried and trying to figure out how to really push our sport to the front and make sure that everybody can find the same enjoyment that I found when I was younger. Photo shoots are fun because it's like a day of dress up. I get to play a new role for a little while and then I go back to my normal life. I think both are fun, but if I had to choose, I'd probably just play hockey. Oh. Yep, save my shoe. It's like a sanctuary. It's like a free space. So whatever is going around in the world, it, it just like rolls off my shoulders. And it's whatever's happening between the glass is fun and exciting. And the stress and everything else is outside the glass, and I don't have to worry about it. So it's a safe place for a few hours every day, which is awesome. I'll do the last. Thanks. Thank you. Having the obstacles at the beginning of building a new professional hockey league is tough. Usually when you're playing in front of like 17,000 people like at the Olympics, you're already amped up and you don't really need to get over the level versus playing in front of 1,500, you got to get yourself up to the feeling of playing in front of 17,000. So I think that's the hardest and the most challenging part. But I think with anything, the growing pains make you stronger and definitely make us closer and a tighter knit group. Trust each other too. You only have to do your own job. That's the beauty of having a strong team and playing together. You only have to do your own job, okay? Uh, Rachel's line start. Blake and Bells, Otter and Net. <laughs>
Here we go now, all right? Come on now. This league is going to allow people worldwide to play and promote women's hockey. Girls approaching college are going to be more competitive going into college, knowing that there is professional hockey and a job you can get post-college. To be able to do something you love and have that as your career is something special, and I'm going to cherish it for as long as I can.